Hi guys, this is Tommy, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install unnamed ROM on your Galaxy S2 for AT&T. Okay, first off, let me tell you about unnamed ROM itself. Um, it's a custom ROM made by a guy named GTG465X on the XDA forums and he put together this little ROM and it looks like stock but it adds all the custom ROM features that you'd expect like um, extended power menu, uh, rooted deodex and zip aligned, it removed all the bloatware uh, with the exception of keys air I think. Um, it added camera shutter, it removed the AT&T contacts, um, increased uh, screen timeout times, and you get five additional notification pull-down toggles, which include brightness, data, flashlight, sound, and sync for a total of 10. And you get CRT screen off, um, charging complete notifications are gone, and this full list of features is on the website that is in the description below. Okay, now let's actually get into installing this. Um, there isn't really much you need to do on the phone other than go to the market and download an app called ROM Manager. And once you have that downloaded, go ahead and open it up and hit Flash Clockwork Mod Recovery and pick uh, your device, uh, Galaxy S2. And at the top, it'll load and install it on your phone. And after this step is done, you have the choice to back up your apps using an app called titanium backup from the market. Um, I've already done this, but if you don't feel like it, it's not really necessary. You can just re-download the apps later. And also, if you want to keep your contacts, go ahead and hit go into your contacts and hit menu and hit merge with Google and hit merge. Um, I've already done this step also, so I'm not going to do that. And uh, now that you're done with that portion, go ahead and plug in your phone to your computer via USB. And then mount the storage, and I'll meet you guys at the next step. Alright, for this step, all you need to do is download this one file right here on the desktop, and right now I'm going to show you how to do that. First off, you need to go to this website right here, and this is in the description, and you just need to scroll all the way down and choose the latest version of unnamed ROM. And right now it is version 2.0, and just click on it and it will bring you to this site and all you need to do is choose direct download and then save it to your desktop um, I've already done this so I'm not going to save it right now and after you've done that go ahead and open up your phone using Windows Explorer and drag the file onto the SD card of your phone um, I've also done this step so I'm not going to download it and once the file is completely on your phone, go ahead and exit out and disconnect your phone from the computer. And I will meet you guys at the next step. Okay, for this portion, you need to turn the phone off. Alright, now that the phone is completely turned off, go ahead and push volume down, plus volume up, plus power, and hold until the screen turns on. And now let go, and it will now boot into Clockwork Mod Recovery. Alright, now we're here, you want to go ahead and choose Install Zip from SD Card. Choose Zip and then go up to update unnamed version 1.20 full v2 and hit home and then scroll over to yes and then it will install the kernel and the software all in one Alright, now it is successfully installed, 
and go ahead and hit back and then reboot system now. Um, it's installing the cache files right now, so it might take a while on the first boot. Okay, now we're in the ROM itself, and it will look pretty much like it was before, except this time you have the scrollable notification uh, widgets at the top, and you also have um, baseband version i77, and the kernel version, and your build number, and all that. And like I said at the beginning of the video, there's a whole bunch of features that come with this ROM. And you can read about it in the description. And most of all, this ROM looks pretty much like stock. And um, thanks for watching. And if you would, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and um, donate to the developer of this ROM. Or, develop, or, or you can donate to us at mobiletechvideos.com. And it really helps out the site, and um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.